quick battery test today, so I'll dive straight in on this one. I got this particular cell for a torch, it's the XR 26650. I've listed out some of the specs at the bottom of the screen for you. And the first thing I noticed with the cell, you get a good bit of weight with this, which is usually a good sign with regards to the capacity. Now going in a bit closer, you'll see that the size is listed out exactly on the label, so pay attention to that and pause that if you need to look at that because the protected cells tend to be a bit bigger than the unprotected cells by a few millimetres. Now this one was purchased for a torch, you can't use it with e-cigarettes because it doesn't have a high enough wattage rating, so make sure that it's suitable for your particular needs. What I do with my batteries is run them through a capacity tester and charger, and this particular one, I run the test a few times to make sure that I've got an accurate figure, and I found it to be good for accuracy with the lithium cells. Now the result I got with this battery was every time I got a result of more than 5,200 milliamps an hour, which is above the rated capacity, you might find a bit of variation with specific cells but that's a very good rating particularly for the price so I can quite happily recommend this cell for users particularly for LED torches.